Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to talk about margin investing. I've had a lot of comments recently on my YouTube channel about margin investing, so I wanted to make this video just to talk about it. Let's get started. So here I am on this Robinhood website, and they actually have a section on their website about margin investing. So let's go over what's margin investing. Margin investing enables you to borrow money from Robinhood and leverage your holdings to purchase securities. This gives you access to additional buying power based on the value of certain securities in your investing account. Margin investing can provide flexibility with your cash. If you see an opportunity in the market and want to invest more, you may be able to invest right away without needing to make a deposit from your bank. Unlike instant deposits, which you start with by default, margin investing access isn't automatic. You have to apply and will only have access if you meet eligibility requirements. When you apply for margin investing, you'll be able to receive extra buying power if you're eligible. This additional buying power represents the money that you're allowed to borrow from us to invest. So essentially, whenever someone says margin investing, that's like another way of saying uh, borrowing money. So you're essentially borrowing money and using that as buying power. Let's look at my portfolio. So here I am in Robinhood and the way I see how much margin I have to use is by clicking here on the buying power section. It'll bring up this section right here. And as you can see, it says margin total $110,343.73. And right now, currently, the total amount of margin that I'm using is $97,816.71. So basically, this means that I'm borrowing $97,816.71. This is the total amount of money that I'm borrowing from Robinhood in order to purchase my, my stocks, right? Amazon, SoFi, Disney, Google. The reason why I'm able to have so many of these stocks is because I'm borrowing money. If we look at something like Amazon, for example, right now, Amazon is at $187.17. If I wanted to buy 100 shares of Amazon at $187.17 times 100 shares, that's $18,717. However, what if I don't have $18,717? What would I need to do in order to buy the 100 shares of Amazon? One of the things that I can do is use margin investing to borrow money. So instead of paying $18,717 to buy the 100 shares of Amazon, I could just pay a portion of that and then borrow the rest. If you use Robinhood and you have margin investing enabled, when you go to a stock and you scroll down, there will actually be a section called margin requirements. Now here you will see the initial requirement. For Amazon, it's 50%. Now what does this mean, 50%? This means that if you use margin investing and you want to borrow the money, then you will pay 50% of it. 50% of it will be your own money, and then the remaining amount will be borrowed money. So let's go back to our example of 100 shares of Amazon. If I wanted to buy 100 shares at $187.17, it would cost me $18,717. However, with a margin requirement of 50%, that means I only have to pay 50% up front and then the rest is borrowed money. So out of this amount, if we multiply this by 50%, here's the amount that I would need to have my own money if I wanted to buy the 100 shares. I would need to have $9,358.50. And then the remaining will be borrowed money. So $9,358.50 of my own money and then $9,358.50 of borrowed money. 
Margin investing on Robinhood is not free. When you borrow money, you have to pay an interest rate. If you have Robinhood, you can actually check the current interest rate by going down to buying power and then clicking on the margin status. Over here, it will show you the annual interest rate. Right now for Robinhood, the annual interest rate is 8%. So when I'm borrowing money, I have to pay an 8% annual interest rate on that borrowed money. Let's look at a different example. For example, let's look at Spirit Airlines. If we go to Spirit Airlines and we look at the margin requirements, as you can see, the initial requirement is 84%. So if I wanted to use margin investing to buy shares of Spirit Airlines, 84% of it would have to be my own money, and then the remaining amount will be the borrowed money. So let's do the math. So Spirit Airlines is at $3.78. $3.78. Let's say I wanted to buy a thousand shares. So $3.78 times a thousand shares, that would be $3,780. But what if I don't have $3,780? Then I can use margin investing. And as I showed you on this screen, the margin requirement, the initial requirement is 84% of my own money. So 84% of 3,780, that's $3,175.20. So I would need to have $3,175.20 of my own money and then $604.80 would be the borrowed money. And again, Robinhood has an 8% interest rate, so you would be paying 8% annual interest on the money that you borrow. In this example, $604.80 times 0.08, you would be paying $48.38 in annual interest if you were to borrow $604.80 at an 8% interest rate. Let's look at another example. For example, let's look at Tesla. If we go to Tesla and we scroll down to the margin requirements, the initial requirement is 52%. So if I wanted to buy, let's say 100 shares of Tesla, $167.50. If I wanted to buy 100 shares, that would be $16,750. But if I wanted to use margin, the initial requirement is 52%. So 52% of that would be $8,710. $8,710 of my own money. And then $8,040 of borrowed money at 8%. I would be paying $643.20 in annual interest in this example. So I hope you guys have a better understanding now of what margin investing is. I will put a link to this website down in the comments so that you guys can look for yourself and read up on what's margin investing, as well as look at some examples and a lot of frequently asked questions about margin investing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. And I hope a lot of your questions about margin investing have been answered. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.